Hey guys, welcome to Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy, and today I want to show you a very quick, simple recipe. It's one of my favorites. It's a Southern French Mussels Provençal, which is basically steamed mussels with some garlic and white wine and lemon, and it's going to be really beautiful. So let's just get started. You're not even going to need a recipe because there's so few ingredients. So check it out. This is how it works. I've got a saute pan. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon, maybe just a touch less. We're going to add some chopped onions, small dice, and now we don't want to caramelize these. We want to keep them translucent with no color. Then we're going to add our tomatoes and our herbs. Today we're using some fresh oregano, fresh thyme, and fresh parsley. Once the onions are nice and translucent, add the tomatoes. Just same, same size as the onions, or rough chopped tomatoes. Right now we're also going to add about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of chopped garlic. If you like more, go ahead and add more. You know what, I'm gonna add a tablespoon. I'm gonna go for it. I'm in a saucy mood. Let this cook for just about a minute and a half, then we're gonna add our herbs. I have my oregano and thyme, and we're also gonna add some parsley. A lot of people look at parsley like a nonsense herb. I completely disagree. It's actually one of my favorite herbs. Now there's a lot of flavor in the stem, so I'm not gonna pick the leaves off. I'm actually gonna chop it right off the stems, just like so. So now I have my thyme, oregano, and parsley. I'm gonna do a nice rough chop on all of my herbs. Once you have a nice rough chop on your herbs, add them to your onions, garlic, and tomato. Now let this cook just to toast some of those natural oils in the herbs. Oh, it smells so good, I wish you could smell it. I'm gonna show you a neat little trick to show how to check for freshness in your mussels. So sometimes you buy mussels and they look like they're open, just like this. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're dead. Sometimes it does, and if it, that's the case, then you don't want to buy them, but sometimes you can just tap on them and watch them close up. If they close, that means they're sleeping. If they don't close, like this little guy, that means they're dead. We don't want to use any of the dead ones. Let's see this guy. See, he's just a little bit open. Let's see if he closes up for us. Oh, there you go, you see him close? That means he's still fresh, so throw him on in. Right to our pan. This is the fun part. Today I'm using a Sauvignon Blanc. You can use any nice, light flavored white wine. We're gonna add this right over the top. We're gonna add about a cup of wine per pound of mussels. We're gonna go with a little bit of salt and fresh, fresh cracked black pepper right over the top. A bit of salt. Beautiful. Give this a quick stir. And then we're gonna cover it and let this cook for about five minutes, no more than six minutes. All right, for the garnish, this is pretty simple, but just a nice little touch to add. I've got a nice little baguette, just a French long bread. We're gonna cut on the bias, which means on an angle, just like so. We're gonna cut thin little strips, about an inch, inch and a half thick, nice and long just like this. To these, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, olive oil, and some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. This is gonna make for a really nice little crunch on the tops of the bread once we put them under the broiler. So we're gonna put these on a sheet tray, just like that. We're gonna go underneath the broiler for just a few minutes until the cheese starts to get golden and caramelized. All right, so the bread is nice and toasted. That cheese is just caramelized just a bit on the top. Now check out these mussels. We've been going for about five minutes. You'll notice they just started to open up beautifully. That's when you're finished. If you cook them too long, they have a tendency to get very rubbery. Now is right where we want to be finished, when they're nice and plump, still very delicate. Now to plate this dish, start with some of the beautiful mussels right down in the bottom of your bowl. Then we're gonna take some of these beautiful juices and herbs some of our vegetables and pour them right over the top. Just like so. Now that broth is beautiful. It tastes really, really great. That's why I have my garnish here with my bread right over the top. And the last little bit, we're gonna slice a little bit of lemon. Just nice thin slices. I like to do two, maybe even, we'll do three. Three thin little slices, just like that. Make a pretty little fan with them. Go right in, just like that. 
Now the white wine that I was using was a Sauvignon Blanc. It was uh, from Cupcake. It's very affordable. You can find it in most grocery stores. But this is actually a, a very traditional technique called bridging. Bridging is when you cook with the wine and then you serve the same wine as the beverage. I'm gonna pour myself a nice little glass of Cupcake. This will compound the flavor and complement the flavor of the wine that's in the broth. So there you go, it's pretty much that easy. Check this dish out. So this is how you, if you've never eaten mussels before, this is how you eat it. Basically pull it out and take apart, hey okay, now, that beautiful little shell, and then, mmm, mm-hmm. And my favorite part, when you add the bread, it starts to soak up those beautiful juices. Mmm, and the Parmesan is delicious. Thank you guys so much for hanging out here at Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll. Make sure you go to Ustream.tv slash Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll to catch us live every Saturday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Also go to Facebook.com slash Chef Nathan Lippy and Twitter.com slash Chef Nathan Lippy to find all the links to the recipes, upcoming shows, and lots of other fun videos. Thank you guys. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy, and I'll see you guys next time.